My next uh, guest recently performed for Prince Charles at the Royal Variety Show in London. Tonight marks his second appearance here on Late Night. Please welcome very funny guy, Jimmy Carr. <laughs> Well, thanks very much. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. Hello. Don't panic, we'll move right along. Um, I feel I should warn you before I get started, in my act there is some bad language. I'm not talking about split infinitives. <laughs> there will be some swearing, and there is some material of a sexual nature. So if you are offended by rude material or cursing, for heaven's sake, don't be a douchebag about it. No matter how much you give a homeless person for a cup of tea, you never get that tea. <laughs> My father used to say, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Until the accident. <laughs> I was filling in a questionnaire. It said, who would you most like to sleep with, anyone living or dead? I put anyone living. <laughs> when people say they hear voices in their heads, as opposed to where exactly? <laughs> Hearing voices in your legs. That's properly crazy. If we're all God's children, what's so special about Jesus? I was doing a gig a couple of weeks ago and I got talking to a, one of the girls in the front row. I, I asked her her name. She said, my name's Pataka. I said, that's an unusual name. You don't hear that every day. To which she replied, actually, I do. <laughs> in the pursuit of scientific answers, animals have been tortured for the past 100 years. They're still not talking. I'm starting to think they don't know anything. <laughs> I was out last week collecting for a sponsored walk. In the end, I managed to raise so much money, I was able to afford a taxi. <laughs> now, I live quite near a remedial school. There's a sign outside. It says, slow children. <laughs> I thought, well, that can't do much for their self-esteem. But look on the positive side, of course, they can't read it. <laughs> ladies, ladies, if you get a burning sensation when you pee, I can tell I'm not going to win any new friends on this bit, am I? <laughs> ladies, if you get a burning sensation when you pee, it could be one of three things. It could be a urinary tract infection, it could be a bushfire, <laughs> or it could be someone's talking about your vagina. My mother told me the best time to ask my dad for anything was during sex. Not the best advice I've ever been given. <laughs> I burst in through the bedroom door saying, can I have a new bike? He was very upset. His secretary was surprisingly nice about it. I got the bike. A very good friend of mine recently split up with his wife and... I couldn't think of what to say. I couldn't think of anything to ease his pain. I ended up falling back on the old cliché. I said, there's plenty more fish in the sea. He said, yeah. But it's not just the smell I miss. <laughs> if you eat a lot of spicy food, you can damage your sense of taste. When I was in Mexico last year, I was listening to a lot of Michael Bolton. <laughs> now women, women reach their sexual peak after 35 years. Men reach theirs after about four minutes. <laughs> Sting, the popular singer, Sting's often bragging about his eight-hour-a-night sex sessions with his wife Trudy. Imagine how long he could keep it up if she was a looker.
Okay, I can assure you that's funny because it's true. <laughs> Mother always said, if you haven't got anything nice to say, piss off. <laughs> well, on that note, I've been Jimmy Carr. You've been lovely. Thank you very much indeed. Good night. Jimmy! <laughs> very nice job. Nice. Jimmy Carr, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.